I, uh, what we did till date, I think it is uh, introduction to IT IL and service yes, now we covered. Mm -hmm. And also we were started with the UI features. Yes. We touch base on uh, how the GUI looks and what exactly happens and the, how the basic uh, configurations, basic configurations, okay. what you can do in the system properties, those being seen. And yeah. also I will cover something like this one, but uh, what I did is, yeah, these are already enabled at my end. Okay, so I will just show you what, how, how you can enable at your instances okay. and what are those and how they help you in terms of uh, enabling these plugins. Uh, and we also discussed earlier that the, not all the plugins are uh, actually uh, uh, already enabled for you to use, right? So it is more of yeah. actually you go and enable as you wish and the customers need any features to be enabled. So then those will be enabled. Um, so with that, let me share my. <clears throat> so you can only see the PPT, I think, correct? Well, I can't see anything now. Like okay. only a, a basic screen of uh, Go meeting is there. Got you. I'll share you this now. Yeah, I can, can see, see your instance. Okay, that's good. I think, uh, yes, so uh, in the slide, I was telling actually about uh, going to a plugin uh, in a navigator and enabling something, correct? So uh, I will show you in my screen. I log out uh, once. You see something I shown in the first video that uh, first session, uh, there is yes. something when you log in, you will not be able to see this. Okay, when you have first okay. instance enabled for you, this will never be available for you. Okay, how this comes actually is, uh, this is more of actually you're giving an uh, instance to somebody instead of rather adding, uh, adding uh, users by um, administrators, you are giving an option for users to come to the, the home page and then they register their IDs so that it comes for your approval in the system and then you can approve them and then take it forward from there. So that's how it works. So how to enable that plugin, I will show you here. Self-registration. Yeah, so you go to plugins. Okay, so there is a system definitions. So majorly all the uh, major uh, uh, features which you had to use, it will be our configurations which you want to do. So they will be under the system definitions. So under def the system definition, you have something called plugins. If something is not enabled, okay, so then you had to go to plugins. And then once you go to plugins, there will be a lot of plugins which are available for you to use it. And one of the plugins we talk in our slide is user registration user type user in the search barrier registration you see it started coming already so it show you up and then it says that installed because it is installed already in my instance now so if you don't have this is installed it will say install so then you click on the install then you can you can go ahead and install it and once you install then if you log out and check what exactly it has come, so you see my window there, uh, the self-registration has come, correct? So that will be enabled. So with that, what happens actually when the user comes to the portal, I'll just do one example. So they come, it is a self-registration form, right? When you click on the self-registration form, it takes to your page, wherein I gave a test, one, two, three, and then I gave my last name also one two three, and then the email ID test one two three at the rate um, gmail.com. So then I will submit. So then what happens? It actually says that your request has been submitted and is pending for review. You will be receiving an email when the request is processed. You had to process this request. Only then. The request will be processed and then uh, approved in the instance and then they get an email on the email id they have registered to so to enable this you had to go to the plugin and then uh, uh, you you actually activate it any of the plugins you want you can activate it under system definition you have a lot more i just put the plugin so it is coming i think if you type uh, uh, system 
definitions and the system definitions you will have many other modules in it it's not only the uh, the plugins right so all these will be used one or the other way uh, maybe we will learn uh, some of these in the uh, in our uh, training and few might not be used extensively so we will not go through everything uh, but but a uh, lot of things what we use regularly as a developer so those will be the aspects which we cover if you guys have any questions maybe we can discuss uh, and uh, on those topics again in case if you need it okay so many of these i think uh, there are familiar business roles ui action script includes these are the one which mainly we use and uh, we day, day to day we need them and also the script uh, which you want to run any scripts we have a background scripts we can run and then check what will be the result of those uh, scripts and um, what the outcome of those scripts those can be checked here and yeah there are a lot more client script validation script so there are many more uh, i think we will go details uh, once we start uh, with the, the developing something in our instances okay so that is one the other one which i was discussing is uh, system ponder system properties uh, there is something called email uh, uh, properties um, why we use email properties is mainly because if you are doing any inbound action so any incident got created then you need to send an incident number or a confirmation back to the user now we said something like okay i registered somebody i allow others to register my instance and then the self registration um, the self user registration uh, uh, plugin is enabled then user can come back and then register once you approve those requests the email has to go back to them so so to do that actually you should enable the email um, so you see this property shows that there is something called email sending enabled it is yes or no if you not click this then the email will not be sent to the the users at the end so if you need to send any emails out from our uh, mailbox or uh, the uh, service now mailbox then you had to click uh, the email sending um, enabled so you have to set this without this actually your emails will not be received at the end so what you can do today you can enable your uh, the plugins uh, the uh, the the user registration plugin and then you can see that uh, you can enable these two and see that what happens after that so you come and then register and also where these requests will be um, there i think when when we are discussing with the uh, the user uh, the user you can also see this why i think that's better and let's show this so you see this one so something has come here so you click on this user this is only visible for the administrator it does not goes through everyone can view this it's only the one who actually have admin access they can come or the role been granted to the person who is actually managing uh, the registrations uh, the user registration to this instance then they will be able to approve so based on what roles and responsibility we have on the instance uh, those can be done but the admin will have all the access to do any approvals yes yeah, so you click on the create user so the registration will be pending in the pending user registration page and wherein you click then it says that primary email uh, device uh, created so the user is created so now i want to see an email has been sent i think that's also been there but uh, it will be go more detail if you want but uh, that that can be seen uh, in the later video i think uh, sarika so what i say is so once you do this then the email will be sent and the email will be sent to this email id where we have uh, registered the user if i just refresh this page now it will be going out uh, there is one more request which is pending but uh, if you want to see the user is created or not uh, there is a table called user in that if i say that uh, when it is updated the last updated uh, then we should be able to see uh, a user
Ah, you can see uh, this one. So there was one already. So it is on top of that. It is still created in another one. So these validations you had to do when you create. If you don't have the validations of uh, and you create one or the other, then it automatically start creating uh, many. Uh, yeah. So that's uh, that's the topic which I just wanted to touch base. So you you should know that how to. Uh, enable the plugins you should know that how to enable the emails so that um, anything which is happening in your instances and you want to send an outbound emails then uh, you should have, you should be remembering what you should uh, configure in your instance and uh, take it forward from there uh, so with that i will actually go to the uh, the few more details uh, i will also touch base with uh, you today on the there is something called we were discussing on the list um, so you see this is one of the list actually so i'll go to the incident list so that uh, uh, we will play a bit more on uh, the incident um, uh, the list view uh, these are called as a list view so what happens uh, the, when when any record we open uh, it will show in this way how you get into this page so there are some shortcuts um, okay. even you can do this uh, uh, with a let me come here whenever you see there is a the, these are called a tables okay the each of these we will discuss on the table how to create a new table how to create a new field in the table uh, how to actually uh, get the data into how to import and how to export the data so all that we will discuss in the coming uh, sessions uh, today i will give you more of uh, the in a table what is already there and how to list them and how you can go and navigate through each of the um, things what you have here and how to how to get uh, better into uh, viewing the list views and also if time permits i will go through the form also one of the form and show you how to um, uh, see the form how the fields look and how the back end actually the fields are being configured and how these fields will come and sit in the page here Okay, so those I will be demonstrating if time permits. Otherwise, uh, we will stop at the list view today and then we will carry out with the uh, form view in the next uh, day. Uh, so you see this uh, page, it's uh, listing all the, uh, uh, the details are the records which are already been there. The each record will be coming in the um, uh, in the row and each column you see they are the fields of that particular table. So the incident is the table name. So the, the, you had to see only before the list what is there. It's actually a table name. And this table name, table, if you open the table, then you will see all these fields are configured under the table. Uh, well, when we create a new table, you will see that how the tables are created, how the news field gets uh, reflecting. Uh, that I will come to the next uh, in the next topic um, today. We see this is uh, Remember this is the table name and under that you have all the fields which are configured uh, So inside the table you have already have a record stored on each of these There are few are empty if you are actually having a record uh, values in there So that you can see them when you open each record you will see something on the form layout The one is on the list you see here they are going to be when you open a record it's actually become a form layout you see this is a form layout wherein each records you will so see these fields are configured and there might be many fields which are not being ref reflecting on it those need to be configured on the form design and the layout that also i will discuss when we actually come to the designing of a form in the next uh, topic so you see this is the table and how to open this table first actually so you come to your instance and you see there are a number of ways to do open the incident on the day i told you there is a module called incident right uh, when a, there is a module called incident you have many modules under the incident so incident is the uh, function or a main module and then you have sub modules under this and then these are the modules you can open and then see what exactly uh, those has right the create new will take you to the page wherein the new incident can be created uh, when you click on uh, assign to me 
then it shows all the incident which are assigned as I don't have any incident assigned to me I don't uh, see anything here. So open incident you see something open in the all the incidents which are open uh, Those will be seen open unassigned. You can see all the unassigned how to configure this also that I will explain in the upcoming session So there is something called you are seeing the edit option. So wherein you can go and then do the edit of uh, these uh, the, the, the what actually is been already filtered and coming into these uh, So resolved there will be showing all and then again uh, there will be all uh, uh, Incidents which are in the incident uh, um, In in this instance are being shown there are 77 incidents are already been created in um, in this uh, Instance and if you want to create a new you have an option called uh, new when you create a new incident it takes to a page and uh, uh, it, it automatically gives you a number with uh, INC uh, and some numbers and then it always creates with the state called new and when you create uh, Maybe let me just create one I just select randomly somebody and I say this I fill the mandatory wherever you see the star those are mandatory fields So those has to be filled before you submit a form if those are not filled it throws an error and say that uh, you had to uh, complete the mandatory fields updates i submitted the incident number is 10022 um, if you come here you have a new incident created so again it shows in the incident list view so how to open this when you want to open this page i'll just come back to the main home page and then uh, i'll tell you the shortcut how to uh, open this again in a shortcut you just type incident incident is a table you type an incident uh, the table name and then type list if you type small small uh, letters list then it shows here if you type uh, incident last if you type the bigger letters of list then it goes to the next page and it opens in the next page so this is how you can use uh, the views and then you can view all the incidents of that table um, So how are you familiar and how you how it is comfortable for you? You can actually navigate if you want to see that I don't want to get into the new page and then see all this and then I want to see you use the last uh, Characters of the list is the after uh, table name dot and then list will leave uh, small a list will actually give you on the same page the, it will show you all the records in the same page if you type uh, dot capital uh, list then it takes to you in the next page so once you come to this page then uh, you have something called uh, on the incident you have certain details here so what are these each one we will go through and see even you have a, a new option wherein you can create a new um the incident from here or you want to search something uh, in the uh, in this list uh, then you can go to and then select anything and then type and then which are matching then those will be displayed here uh, also you have uh, something called uh, the uh, your filters you can also do the filters and then uh, apply some filters it's just loading uh, you see all the fields which you have all the fields when you say it's on the top you see all the fields which are there they all will be listed under this you can actually go to each of them what you want actually you want to see only the active states of incident then select active is true it's only a given option of true and false because that is where active is a um, it's a true or for false uh, variable uh, and it gives that and uh, you select the true or false um under active whatever the true or false is there and what your selection is it shows like that now if you click on active is true then it is showing all the um, all the incidents which are still active and then also it is when when you go here you have to remember this again so you put a filter sometimes what we do in the later time when we are doing a development uh, we will not go and then uh, we will put our own filters or we will actually write a bigger code uh, What normally we do we put a filter and I will apply a few more. I think uh, that's better. Uh, that will give you a better idea of uh, 
um, how to copy the uh, this thing. I think. Uh, okay. So uh, okay. So let me just uh, do this. I think it's here. And more up more filters. If you want to apply, you can just put a uh, and and then again you can select the next one. Uh, so if you say short description. Is test is means it matches with the what value you are passing. Okay, so it shows only those incidents which are having test plus the true in the, the incidents which are active. So you can see those are active. They are in the new or in progress and others others might have closed or in the it's not active in the instance. Uh, also, where I was telling actually when you are coding you need something from this page So you just right click here you it says that uh, copy the query or a copy the URL So you might have to need sometimes uh, you have to uh, You will be needing this uh, copy query uh, Because we might have to apply the similar query in our scripts So then we will not write them actually we will come and then filter it is in from the incident table You need to query something then you actually put a filter here and then you copy them and then uh, paste it there so that you don't need to write a uh, Multiple queries or if you if you are able to do those multiple queries, then that's good Otherwise you can shortcut is to come here and then copy and then start using it so this is on the shortcut uh, and otherwise if you go back again to this page you you also have something uh, you want to save this filter whatever this filter you applied you want to save you can just go and then save it with the name and then it is you want to save it with you or you want to share it with everyone who is available in this instance or you want to share it only with the specific group so those can be done and then once you click on the um, the save it will be saved in the instance this filter is saved and then when you go here you have something called filter i applied a filter and i actually on the when i filter now so if you want to edit the personal filters these are the filter personal filter i created now and then you can go and edit them or you want to uh, just uh, navigate through already there are Filters applied by the default by the uh, by by service now then you can reuse them so you can click on the filter so you just go into those uh, filters so that way you can navigate through any of these or you can even create your own uh, the filter and then save them for any future use also you have something called default uh, the views i will explain again uh, in the upcoming because we need to create a views of these you can see th this is one of the view so this this having a set of fields which are already showing on the top uh, but when you go to the next uh, some other fee other uh, uh, views the, these filters will change because this is not going to be the constant so for example you have a departments which are having a number of department want to have um, they want to see their uh, fields uh, separately they don't want to go and then customize themselves every time so this actually you can customize and then leave it so that and you can put a filter uh, for the, um, the the views list views and then uh, the, you can name it according to what the name they want to see here so you can create the uh, new filter and then I will I will explain I said uh, I will explain how to create these uh, views uh, in the next when next uh, session wherein we we work on the form okay um, so these are already available so each for each views will be showing you the in the different uh, manner and then they will be they vary from each other and the fields which are added in there are different from each other so user when uh, this is actually for uh, can be configured by the admin the users will see this but users still have an option actually you can give an option here there is a gear item they can go and add any of the fields which are already there in this to the right side and start weaving them as well so i added actual start you can see that the actual start will be coming where you have placed you placed it at the end so it is coming at the end so you can play with around and then see that what more details you will see or what fields you will see what are the 
fields available in this table all will be listed on the left hand side uh, navigator and then uh, you, you can play around and then uh, work it out also uh, you have many other uh, uh, views views you can play and then see uh, once you change this uh, for mine and then uh, maybe if I, I go i go back and then come back to the mobile i added the actual uh, start see the difference what happens coming back i see that stay back because i personalized it for myself now it's an admin so it's an admin so it is reflecting but otherwise the views will change again go back to the same state if it is a normal user so as an admin i am saving uh, the views into those uh, the things so it is staying back for me uh, also you see there are uh, the in under the filter i explained these filters you can apply and save it and also you have an option to group them so group them in in terms of the uh, number of fields you have uh, if i say action state it will show the action state is empty there is nothing being filled uh, so if you say okay it's based on um, based on the state it shows that what are the incidents how many incidents are there in your instance are actually separate so like uh, the new state there are 16 in progress there are 20 so it's become easy for anyone to navigate and then list through uh, go go through the list of uh, uh, things what we have and uh, see them quickly and then uh, take action on it so likewise you can uh, you can use any of the fields which we have in this particular table the incident table and then uh, you, you can you can uh, group them uh, also show it's more of actually you see here how many records it shows right so on the right hand side you are seeing there are records which shows on that page how many i selected 20 it only shows at a time it's only uh, only 20 of them so if i go back uh, in there just uh, take this in an instance i have 78 but i will see in this page only 20 of them uh if if you want again you can go back from here or you can even configure more than 20 i just configure and red it shows all in a single page Also, this is on the show and if you want to refresh the page because you have on the other page where the, and you created an incident and you want to see that uh, this is actually still showing an incident in the uh, in the on the backends uh, then, then you can come back and then um, uh, see those um, also you have create favorite I said uh, you can also create favorite of uh, favorites from this side uh, you can uh, click on these and then any of these button and then uh, you can clear create the favorites um, <clears throat> also I said about these search actually there are certain details they are given you want to search the incidents with the text or you want to search with the number the number is here you know the number and then you want to feed the number and then search and then category short description uh, so likewise it goes uh, so you have I, I explained about the gear icon wherein you can see you can click on the settings uh, the gear icon and then you can personalize what you want to see on the uh, the respected views here and also you have something if you come down you have a uh, something called uh, there is an another uh, uh, the actions which you can take wherein you can select uh, the records which you you have and you can come here and uh, you can go and delete so do you want to delete I think it's only an option for you administrator as an administrator I am able to see all of this but normal users will not be able to do much of all these activities uh, it's all restricted as uh, you maybe you can take any of the user in your instance and log in and see what differences you will find and uh, as an admin when you log in what differences you see in these tables that you can navigate and uh, run through 
uh, this is on the table and also you have something uh, on the on the top if you have if you want to click and then navigate through you have the same options you will be uh, it will be visible for you what you are seeing on the left hand side here so the same thing on if you click on the top and then uh, right click on the top and then you will see the same things and you want to sort these so you want to uh, i want to see the uh, sorting these numbers and uh, uh, want to see that how they are reflecting so maybe you can even do the sorting in in, in whatever the manner you want so the sorting is possible which uh, which field you click those will be uh, uh, sorted and then it will be shown you might need from a to z or z to b uh, a then those can be done it's a normal filter everyone knows uh, about the filter so i'll not go into that uh, you have something also having a filter yes so you want to filter particular field available inside uh, uh, any of the fields so that the record which is already having something um, some text already available in this or you want to match those text and it. for example if I take this whole text and then uh, enter here then it will show only that particular record so you want to see I don't I don't remember what exactly the whole uh, sentence is right so in that cases you want to see only the um, whatever it contains inside you just wanted to see are uh, the the records which are contained um, the axis so you see this filter it's automatically calculating here so is a filter is coming when you type something here it, it actually filters out and show it here so you can navigate through like this and any of the incident you want to search you put the incident number here you know only the incident number you come to this page and then uh, you want to view them you can start viewing them also you have something when you go to this page that this uh, these fields you have something already uh, something more available uh, to navigate through what happens here uh, so if you see there are a sort is available again this is the field wherein you need to sort right so that is available even on the right click of this uh, but otherwise also you just write you just click on this tape it will be showing a uh, the where it is actually uh, sorted that you will have a triangle symbol on it uh, you can you can see that shows that uh, where actually the sorting is happening through and uh, that's about the sort and uh, sorting and show visual board uh, you want to see this in the visual board you can take back to the there is some uh, there is a module called visual uh, task board uh, if you have uh, your uh, uh, Visual task board um, enabled plugin then 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 you can use this and then get these uh, incidents on the uh, uh, on those table also you want group by group by uh, they are given only an option in this is a group by short description if you want to group by some short description which are similar uh, uh, for all the incidents then you can do that and also uh, you have some bar chart you can there are incidents which are there uh, let me just uh, take all the incidents now now i'll click here then go to bar chart if i click the bar chart then it it, it uh, shows all the incidents uh, in a bar chart it takes to a page wherein uh, it creates a report and then uh, it shows you in the bar chart actually I put something it or by default it is taking something on the uh, bottom and then hub and then you can actually uh, modify them as you need you need a count or you need something so those can be possible from the same table what you have you can navigate through the reports you can create the reports and share it with somebody from directly from here uh, you, you can go and then create a uh, 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 charts and then share it with someone actually uh, maybe senior management is asking okay let me see the, all the incidents which are being created this month then you can create uh, from here and then uh, share it with them there are other ways of creating the report so that, that's uh, there is a module called report itself and there is a module called performance analytics uh, those also will be uh, uh, more useful uh, in terms of the management asking you to do a reporting and uh, dashboard 
um yeah so keep in mind uh, those topics uh, also uh, something you want to do a configuration so these are the one which will be more useful as a developer um there is something called list layout list calculator list control uh, all means uh, whatever you see on the bottom it will show all so to configure any of these on the form then you will be going into the configurations and do the configurations uh, the import is something we uh, you have an excel sheet uh, these incidents are being created in another instance or another uh, you have a remedy for example that's also an incident uh, 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 management uh, tool um, there are records which are created there there you want to get the data into this table then you can actually go and then um, uh, click on the import and then it asks you it will take you to the page wherein it asks you so this we will discuss uh, in the upcoming sessions where you we discuss the uh, importing the data into our tables of uh, whatever the table we have uh, and then how to export so those we will go in detail actually so the insert update you want to update the table and then uh, you can choose it and then click update so that it will come back to your instance so how to get them there are uh, more things to discuss because there are uh, we, we discuss something called a transfer map data load um, and uh, there are more other topics which we will uh, go through and we will do more uh, on the import and export so the export is mainly you want what format you want to export this data so you can take it take the data out from the instance and then share it with anyone the updated select update hall if you want to update the record with something then uh, you want you want to update the record with uh, uh, the test to something else so the short description which are having test you want to change it to something else so then you will go through this so you want to update all the records then you will go to this uh, if you want to create an application files uh, you will do this and you you want to import it in an excel and then show an xml so that's how uh, this works and uh, more or less i think that's uh, uh, the view i think you see this uh, which view we are in the incident mobile view it shows that on the uh, side which view we are into um, i think that's uh, actually covers more or less uh, what we have and uh, yeah there are a few more things if i had to discuss um there are it's actually even uh, there are something called uh, the on cell edit there is something called uh, uh, in the form layout or we we go into the scripting we discuss more on uh, on cell edit uh, there are uh, um, the rules which we write on the on any of the forms uh, those rules we need to apply uh, something whether you allow this fields to be uh, uh, editable by a user or any specific roles uh, then then you can you can allow them you can also double click here and then you can start editing any of the uh, fields it uh, allow you to just go if you double click on any of these fields so it will uh, ask you to edit if you on the back end if you are making that uh, the form can't be ed uh, editable on the list view then it is not possible to edit it it will not take those values into this uh, there are few fields like that uh, i i don't think you will be able to edit them they are already marked as a, a, a non-editable uh, so that way uh, you will not be able to uh, you, you can control those uh, fields uh, so that is actually the things which i wanted to cover on the list view um is this clear to you um any questions on this no I as of now there is no questions yeah but thing is like i didn't uh, started practicing these instance and all so i feel mm -hmm. something different when i go with mm -hmm. the uh, practicing then i may find uh, you know some more Correct. difficulties or issues with these uh, incidents Correct. so then i'll ask you some more questions at the time yeah no problem i think that's better actually you get your instance first uh, set up mm -hmm. and then so that uh, you start working on so 
it's more actually you start now and then work on uh, you will get to know better uh, on to development yeah i'll do that i don't have time much so i'm not yeah. getting a, a chance to do this instance but then i'll do and i'll ask you a few questions on how to do this no problem so i think this yeah. is uh, yeah you see this one i think i come to the form view wherein i think mm-hmm. i updated the test you say it's running on the back end it is updated whenever it has update if your form is already uh, open then it shows these actually the record is getting updated on that particular view oh, okay 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 so i think yes. uh, that covers more or less the list uh, uh, list view uh, uh any any other forms if you open i think uh, or uh, any other tables if you want to open the same way you can come back uh, to your instance uh, once you come to your instance and then type uh, problem dot list for example if i want to see the problem now so it, it will take you to that page so other things looks the same there is no way no change otherwise the you see the table name on the top it's changed uh, earlier it was an incident and then uh, now it's a problem so that way you can go to any of the tables it exists in the um, in the instance so how to go to the tables uh, there is something called we will have a separate session on the tables also um, in the under the system definition you have something called tables so if you click on the and you i i just did uh, some favorites okay so i created a favorite so it is shows here when i type something here otherwise you had to come down here and then check where exactly under the system definition so you have here right so i filtered already i put it in my favorite so it is coming on the top um if you if you make anything favorite so it all will be saved here and uh, so you don't need to keep searching for the details every time um, so there are certain uh, there are around 3664 uh tables already available here if i type an incident on the table here the name is incident there are couple of incident tables it all starts with this right so it all shows the records like that so that way so you can go to the table for, uh, table um, all the tables and then you can also see uh, uh, you can navigate through those incident uh, uh, any any particular table you want to see uh, if you click those table it will take you to the particular table and where you have all the fields configured so we'll more discuss on the table when we actually create a new table ourselves and uh, yeah i think uh, i have done with the list view um i'm not sure whether we can cover everything on the form uh, um, form layout but still i will just uh, in next 10 minutes i will cover uh, uh, how the form looks what actually the form means and what other options available i'll uh, uh, i'll touch base that today and then we will go in detail tomorrow uh this is the form view or uh, the incident when you have any incident you just uh, click on an incident it opens with a new page uh, that incident opens and what happens there are certain fields are already available for you to view so you can also customize it i was mentioning on the first uh, uh, day that uh, you can also customize these uh personalized for any of the views like uh, you want to see any other fields which are not in this uh, form then those can be taken or you do need uh, you do will not use certain fields which are not uh, mandatory and they they don't need to be there and you want to make it uh, on smaller form then you can personalize as you wish uh it shows an incident number uh, uh you can see that uh, similarly in any of the forms or any of the list view where, where you go you will keep seeing these uh, uh options available uh, if you click on the three lines on the left hand side wherein you see number of options comes to so maybe we'll go through these in the tomorrow sessions um it also um, in detail uh, in the tomorrow sessions and each buttons what it is and uh, how these going to work and uh, uh the majorly how to see uh, how to navigate through and what are these uh, in the incident um, uh, how they coming here how to configure and how to change this uh, layout what we have today um 
and also you, okay you can see uh, the the next records you want to see the next records it will take you through the uh, next set of records or whatever uh, so you can keep uh, navigate through these it will take you to the next in the list here um, also you see uh, there is something uh, attachment if somebody want to uh, attach an uh, um, a document to this incident uh, then then they can go and then attach a documents here uh, they can update here also there is an option to save it from the right click on the top uh, so that you can see a save button enabled to you you click on the save so it is active and then available for you to go through and you don't want this incident you can go back and then delete it but uh, this is not available for all it's only for the admins uh, also you have something uh, there is a uh, views which we have here there are some sections being added also there will be a related list when i click on the relate, reload the related list you see more menus coming into this so uh, so these are there and uh, there are a number of uh, hyperlinks given uh, these are something called as a ui policies wherein you can configure uh, the UCUA policies and uh, you can start viewing them and then you can navigate through. Uh, we will we'll come back in detail there what is UI and uh, so if you right click here you have a configurations and wherein you have a uh, something called a table. We see the table you want to see this table particularly and then in, in you can go to the table. Uh, it's take to your table where you have configured all the fields um then also you have some security rules you want to apply some security rules on this table then you can apply also you want to run some business rules we'll go into these you might not be knowing that what is business rule what is client scripts ui policy data policies ui action notifications and dictionary we'll go one by one and discuss uh, um, each of these these are all each topics which we need to discuss as a developer you should be knowing all of these uh, in detail um, also you should know that how to for design the form or how, how to design the form layout and also a related list uh, these are the one which you had to understand on the form uh, layouts um, that I will uh, run through you again tomorrow I will stop here I think uh, with uh, explaining uh, at least I, I giving an introduction to the form layout um, so I will stop the I will pass today uh, the session and uh, yeah, for any questions or anything uh, from anyone. Yeah. Sarika. Uh, no, Vinay, I am good with this uh, training. Yeah. Good. I think uh, that that's it from me. Then I think uh, we will end it for today, uh, Sarika. So we cover the list uh, uh, views. Uh, so that uh, you can see the form in the you can uh, you can see the list in the table or the records in the table and uh, that's how we navigate it and then uh, run through uh, we will see now actually when you open a record uh, how we can actually uh, go through the form and how to amend the form now uh, that will be in the next session i think we'll cover that uh, in the next uh, session thank you thank you have a good day you too. Take care. Thank you. Yeah. We'll speak Bye. soon again. Bye.